Well, over the years, several of you have asked me to make a holster as a video. And really, I had made a holster for about 20 years, and I wasn't going to because I have lots of holsters that I either bought or people gave me while I was a gun writer for Western Guns. But these little holsters, uh, they're pretty hard to find around. I didn't have anything to fit. So I'm going to make a holster as a video. It's going to be two parts. The first part, I'm going to show you how I make the pattern. And the second part, we'll put it together, we'll finish it, we'll do all the good stuff. So let's get into this as a pattern making exercise first. And I'll show you how I do that. Okay, it's holster making time. <clears throat> and, you know, the problem is these little guns like this 1862 um, Colt Police or the 1849 pocket model. It's hard to find any commercial holsters that even come close to fitting these. I mean, with the full-size navies or armies, uh, if you get a holster that fits the single-action army cartridge revolver, it'll probably fit those uh, well enough. Same thing with the Remingtons. So, you can find holsters around. If you want to pick up a cheap holster, you can get it. But it's almost impossible to find holsters for these unless you have a custom maker make you up one. And that can be pricey. So I'm going to make a holster first for this guy. And then for this guy, probably. So we'll just do this guy on camera. So what we're going to make is kind of a combination between this holster, which has my Ruger Red Hawk in it, which is just a simple envelope type holster. And this is how it fits with a double action, you know, very, very nice. And it's going to be a combination between that and this one, which is a Jordan holster or a Tito Myers border holster, depending on what brand or how old the holster you have in question is. Uh, and this one's got my Colt Official Police in it. So it's going to be kind of a cross between these two holsters. Now, of the two, this holster is obviously much simpler. It's one layer of leather. It's just a simple envelope put together. And it's a good holster. But I love these holsters. Now, I know it's not really historically accurate for this gun, but uh, they are pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to make a copy of this holster. And the reason I'm not going to is because it would really be too complex to show you for illustrative purposes the pattern for this is very complex and I don't think a lot of you are going to want to do it so the learning value is kind of low and really I don't need it so I'm going to do kind of a hybrid but what I'm going to borrow from this holster is the welting system not all of it but most of it you can see right that this is welted in other words there are pieces between the two pockets of the holster and uh, and that is fairly important. Uh, and uh, I may line this one. I haven't made up my mind yet whether or not I'm going to. I may not. Uh, but the welting is most important. And the reason for that is because you can see it. There's a piece in here and then the wide pieces. And what that does is it kicks the gun out away from your body. Uh, which is very handy. So when you're making a draw, right, you can get around it. It's not tucked all the way into the belt like, like a lot of them are, like on this one. All right, so it's pointing back towards the belt. The belt is back here. It's riding right up against your body. Less easy to get your hand around the grip. So I'm going to make a welted holster and the welt's going to come right out here under the trigger guard. So the first thing to do is to trace out trace out the gun, which I did. Now I'm just going to take some scissors and cut that out. Okay, so I'm going to want my welt to be about 3 eighths of an inch thick. So I've drawn a line here that's going to be the inside surface of the welt. Uh, and I'm going to measure 3 8 inch. That's just going to be straight inside here because I'm not running the welt right along the gun the way I would run it right along a knife. So we're just going to 
put it right out here. I'm going to run the holster about a quarter inch, about a quarter inch below the level of uh, of the barrel. So all I'm going to do is just kind of draw this out by hand. Those are all going to be pretty straight. Just throw a ruler on here. Straighten them out just a little bit. Okay. Alright. So, this shape right here is going to be my welt. And I'm just going to cut it out with a set of scissors. Okay, so this welt is a little more complex than that. Now a lot of what you see here is to make this kick out flap. We're not going to do that. But, as you can see inside, there's a second piece to the welt. And it goes down about an inch and a half. It's beveled. And, and that's what kicks the gun out a little bit from, uh, you know, from the belt. So we're going to make that. Okay, so this is the original welt that we just cut out and I've traced another welt on this piece of paper and that has that additional bump out right here right? where it sticks out about three quarters of an inch and it goes down about an inch and a half and I'm going to cut that out and in practice these will be two heavy pieces of leather they'll be about you know ten ounce pieces of leather and they'll stack on top of each other and that will provide the welting that we need in here. Okay, I've traced the uh, the welt pieces onto a heavy duty piece of leather and now I'm just going to cut them out. I, I use these leather shears. I, I like them. Um, you could use a knife to cut them out. I don't know. This just seems to go easier for me. All right, now I'm going to contact cement these pieces together. And when we put them together, we will have our finished welt. So let me just let that dry a little bit. And that will be good to go. Okay, now it's time to make a paper pattern. And I'm not a professional leather worker, so I don't know if anybody else does this. But if I'm making a welted holster, I'll take a file folder, draw the gun on, but I make a pattern of the welt out of cardboard. So here's my glued up welt. And here is my cardboard stand-in for it. In fact, I'll just cut the bottom off of that just to keep everybody honest. Pencil. Do, do, do. Make them the same length. There we go. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this very lightly onto the pattern paper. And that's going to give me a cutting guide later when I cut my pattern out. So I'm going to contact cement this down in just a couple of places. And uh, when, when I do the other, the other side, I'll do the same thing. And you'll see how this goes. All right, so I've taken my cardboard welt and I've glued it on over here. So that's going to be the edge of my holster for the bottom piece of leather. Now, I'm going to do an integral strap, and this is going to hang at a bit of an angle. So, I'm putting that on there right now as, uh, as just my guides. Uh, I'm going to have to tape some more paper up there when I actually do it, but I want to get that angle right, right now. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to cut right along the edge of this and get it off of here. 
just pretty simple. Just going to cut up with a pair of scissors and take this right off. Okay, now I'm going to flip that over and I'm just going to trace it. Okay. And I'm going to cut this out. Now, I pretty much have my pattern. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut this out. Alright, so we get our trigger guard fully exposed. Okay. okay, so now I've got my pattern pretty much made. I've got to take care of the belt loop. All right, so I'm going to want the belt loop to go over at about this kind of an angle. All right, so I'm going to raise that up right by there. And I'm going to want it to go on a two and a half inch belt or a two and a quarter inch belt. All right, so the thickness of my leather is going to account for about an eighth of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to cut it right down the middle. All right, then I've got a center line right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a sixteenth of an inch on each side of that. Okay, so that is the additional amount I'm going to need to accommodate the thickness of the leather. So what I'm going to do is I am going to trace these right on here. Right, so I'm going to put these up on the line, right on the line, and then I'm going to, I'm going to trace them. All right, now I'm just gonna cut them out again and I'll have the extra width that I need there in the center. Okay, so that's how I make a pattern. And in part two of the series, I'm gonna go from that pattern to making a finished holster for the 1862 uh, Colt Police, 36 caliber police. And, uh, that's basically going to show you how we go from a paper pattern to a finished leather holster. It'll be basket stamped, basket weave stamped. Uh, I'll show you how you finish it, how you finish the edges, and how you do everything you need to do to get it looking like this. So, we'll see you next week.